guys, Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor. And today I have a good one for you. Here we are in Harmony West with DR Horton and we're at the Elston model. Now the Elston model is a four bedroom, two and a half bathroom, 2260 square feet. And get this guys, for a two story home in this area of St. Cloud, 407,990, fantastic. Now the HOA is $33 a month and the CDD is $1140 per year, which equates to like $95 a month but this is a gorgeous home. The amenity center is outstanding. It is in a great area of St. Cloud, centralized. You're minutes from everything, the Turnpike, the 417, Narcuzzi Corridor. So get, stay with me, <laughs> hit the subscribe and alert buttons down below, and let's go on and check out this house. Hey guys, so welcome back. Here we are in the front of the Elston, right? And I like the way this house looks. So of course, these two humongous oakwood trees, they're not oakwoods, I don't know what they are, but they'll get knocked out, right? When you buy this house, it'll have a paver driveway and you'll have your two car garage right here with your coach lights, as you can tell over there. Love the slat windows over here. Well, the windows with the, the full shutters, that's really nice and a clean edge to the roof line. But what I really do like is when you pull up, right? We have this pretty big foyer out here. You have like at least enough room for two seats. So if you don't want to sit behind the house, you can sit in front of the house with this one. So that's pretty cool. Now entering, we have this pane glass win uh, window for the door. We have a combo lock, if I move out the way, here, right? And we also have your electronic doorbell. So come with me inside, guys. All right, and as we come into the Elston, I have to show you really quickly before we drop back, we have entry to the garage right up front, right? So here's your two car garage. There you go, now lots this, of space. Yeah, there's actually a little bit of storage here. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's good enough for Christmas storage. Exactly. There you go, there you go. Some people are like, where am I gonna put? Oh, <laughs> Some people are gonna be like, where are you gonna put your lights and all that? So there you go. So here we have the stairways going up, right? And we have enough space for this little sit down area with the bling, as you can tell. Oh, it's very blingy. <laughs> I really like it. Yeah. <laughs> but we're gonna move forward back. We'll get to the second story in a minute. We have a window right here opposite of the kitchen. Now, as you notice, we have the 16 by 16 tiles running through the kitchen area and the front. So the wet areas of this home does have tiling. Now, I'm gonna mention a couple things, guys. So in this community, right, in uh, Harmony West, the builder has base at Formica, and then there's carpeting in some of their living areas. Now, depending what kind of buyer you are, that's a good thing or it's a bad thing. If you don't like doing any fixer uppers in your house, then you're gonna be like, Ugh. if you if you're the type that likes like giving me the base stuff and I'll switch stuff out myself, then this might work because you can take, for instance, this this Formica out, put brand new granite, the choice that you would like, and also the tile that you would like in the living room and dining room area. So it's it's a you know plus and minus depending how you see it. But what they do plus for me is the white cabinets, very nice. You have the uh, stainless steel range oven right and and range top right you got the range hood you got the dual sink here right with the sprayer and then you have your dishwasher down here now depending on the promotion with this builder you do get the fridge but that is dependent on the promotion at the time right now they are giving the fridge so if you see this video six months from now and go anthony well i'm not getting the fridge now you know <laughs> but guys here is the pantry for this home Very nice. And as you back out of the pantry, the all important coffee station right here, right? With some more cabinetry and you have more cabinetry on top. Love that. Go ahead, Pam. And the island is eight by four. This island right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the kitchen is 15 by 10. 15 by 10 on the kitchen. I mean, it, it feels, for me, it feels, it feels wide. large. Yeah. What's, what's nice too is on this wall, if you wanted to put like more racks or yeah. like something. Or shelves, it would fit and you'd still have space to walk by here. So yeah, it's that's large. a good point. Yeah, it is. But I like how the kitchen flows out into the living room space. We have a window here and then two windows here for natural lighting, but these are two big sofas right here with the coffee table and decent sized TV, not yeah, too it's bad. A little, it's a little small. It's, it I mean, you know, bigger. it'll get by. <laughs> but the uh, cadenza here and 
you know, so it's a good space for entertaining. You have the kitchen wide open, you have people sitting here, right? You can talk to each other, but more importantly, we missed the oh, closet. Ah, uh, yes. What do we call these again here in Florida? Well, they have hangers. sweater closet, right? Yeah, it's a sweater closet. <laughs> because we don't need coats. No. Nope. Nope. You're not gonna feel, you're not gonna find any North faces in that closet. <laughs> well, it did get chilly. I did have to put socks on the other day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, socks. Okay, my bad. <laughs> okay. So we flow out into the un informal dining area right here. Very nice, right? It is big. It has lots of space. Like, look, from here to here, you have a lot of space. And then from the sofa, you have a lot of space. But more importantly, that leads out into your backyard area. Now, I know some houses have the cover now. You just get a pad here, but I want to mention about this particular community, you can get views like this with the conservation area. So that's really nice, right? And I would assume, estimatedly, that where these two trees Pam is walking towards, or where the stake is, is, is how big stake. your yard is, right? So, that being said, you could fit anything back here, essentially like pool, fireplace, you know, pavers, you know, um, a paver deck, anything you may want to look at that beautiful natural landscape you could do back here. So for me, again, the pad really doesn't mean anything to me because you could upgrade it, right? So let's go in, let's keep looking at this home. As we walk back in, you come back into your living area, and what we have here, if I turn on this, is another sweater closet. <laughs> How many sweaters people got out here? <laughs> Must be northerners. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, again, you can make that actually another pantry. You can make it a storage closet, whatever you may you want. You can put your games in there if you use the dining yeah. table for games. Yeah, if you guys so get yeah. options. Yeah, if you guys you have your family and you guys do a lot of game night. Boom, right? Now we have this small powder room here. And I do like in the, as soon as you come out of the powder room, we do have another window here for natural light. Now, revolving back around, as I close this, <laughs> we're gonna come back to the front of the home And guys, as I said, we landed on these 16 by 16 tiles and we get to our stairway here. And before we go up, I just wanna let you know, we're about 12 minutes from Publix, 12 minutes from Winn-Dixie. We're about 35 minutes, 40 minutes from the Disney parks, 30 minutes from Lake Nona and 30 minutes from MCO airport. So you're very centralized without living on top of the areas that you need to get it on with your everyday life, all right? So give me a second and let's pop upstairs. All right guys, so here we are at the second floor. And as you step up to the second floor, we have this small loft area. They made it like a child's PlayStation here, right? And we're gonna go all the way around, but let's start with the left side of the home. My left, your right. <laughs> we have a utility closet behind the stairs here. Pretty big, pretty deep, right? We have a little storage behind it too. Yeah. Yeah, you can stick something back there if you need to, mattress, whatever. <laughs> and then you have your first bedroom here. Love the way they designed it. You have a window for natural light, of course, and then of course the toys, but a day bed here and some more furniture. But more interesting enough, a half step in closet. Very nice. And then stepping back out, we have the second bedroom of the second floor, which is the nursery, right? And you do have a window for natural light, of course. And you have your half step in on that section over there. I do love the chair in this bedroom. This nice leather chair. I know we're selling real estate, but I might take that chair with me. You know, it is a comfy <laughs> chair. Let me get a close up of the chair. <laughs> All right. We got, going back through the loft area, we do have 
a, the closet that we didn't show you earlier. Go ahead, Pam. And the loft is seven by 12. Seven by 12 is the loft. We, this little closet for all the supplies, cause you know, the kids might get a little bit messy, so you can put all their toys away st and store everything and make it look nice and neat. So that's a good utility closet if you needed it. Coming forward, right, we have three setups here. First one is a shared bath. And we have the dual vanity here. We also have the tub on the back with your commode. But DR Horton, Pam, you were telling me something interesting about Express. Sometimes they don't give you two sinks in the shared bathroom for three bedrooms. So this one has two. This one has two. Yeah, and they ran that white cabinet from downstairs in the kitchen up here, which is nice. So across from that room, we do have our laundry room here. I do like that green on the wall. It's pretty nice. I like the cats. <laughs> so you don't have the washer and dryer, but you would see where they would go. Nice space. And then we have the bedroom here. And this is a good size bedroom. Window for natural lighting, of course. This is like a full size bed. Nice stands, everything. It, very nicely laid out. Lots of room in between. So this room has a good spacing to it. Now we do have another half step in here. And then moving along back out into the hallway area of the home to the final bedroom coming this way around the corner, we have the primary bedroom suite. Now, this room is? 13 by 14. 13 by 14. So before you come this way, Pam, can you show them how big and massive that closet is? Oh, I measured it. Oh, you did? Oh, so while you're showing, how big is that closet? 11 by seven. 11 by seven is that huge walk-in closet very nice window inside as well. And as you can see with this primary bedroom suite, the nightstands, the dual windows on each side, king size bed, credenza, plenty of space in between as always, and even a chair area here. You have plenty of plenty of space. Now we're gonna move on into your primary bath. And as we come into the primary bath, Pam will show you here the linen closet, which is really deep, actually. Okay, walk in. Mm-hmm. And you have parallel to that your shower stall. And then you also have dual vanities with a large mirror. I do like the high hots instead of pendant lighting, right? Yes. And then we have another linen closet right here, guys. Look at this. So Plenty of closet space in this home. They do not shrink away from that, which I like. And then we also have the commode behind me here. But guys, that is the entire home. Now stay with me because I have a little bit of information to give you and I'll see you in two seconds. So guys, if you're looking for the deal of the year in this new year, then give me a call at 407-790-0929 Remember, it is centralized, hidden gem of a community right here in St. Cloud. And I'll see you guys on the next video.